Welcome to Easy EDM. Here I'm going to show you how to create involute spline. Our first step is to go to our geometry menu, gear splines and cams, and open up our involute splines wizard. Here are some, here's a few uh, simple dialogues that you have to fill out. You have the help in the upper right hand corner. You can select any field and we'll give you a written explanation. Using my preset values, I'm going to simply generate our spline and we get a single tooth. So what we're going to do next is we're going to rotate around our axis and create 34 copies. Now for the angle, you can type in a formula. We can do 360 divided by 35 teeth. That gives us our angle. And we're going to make our copies, 34, select our geometry. Now that we have all of the geometry that we need, we're going to create a path for the wire to follow. We call that a curve. By double clicking, it chains all the connecting geometry. Now we'd create a start and end point. You can manually create one, type in values. Or you can use the auto start and end, which we'll do here, two millimeter start and end. And it gives us this point over here. Now under automation, you can output start and end locations to create a G code file for a milling machine to pre-drill. Now we go to our die wizard. And in the wizard, you can see that we have a variety of dies to choose from with various angles and lands. We're going to choose die number one, which will be a straight wall. Our thickness will be 25 millimeters. So we'll put in a stop length, say one, a retract length of two. Hit OK. And it asked me to select the curve that we're going to uh, follow. Let's take a look at this machining on an isometric view. And then of course we have a 3D preview that you will see the wire cut out at the machine. We can hide our centerpiece and there's our involute spline. Now let's take a look at our G-code. We go to the post button here. We've got a FANUC post processor for our EDM. We'll list it on the screen. That's just telling me that this is an inch post and we're in metric. So you can switch them around. You can have a metric document and have an inch post and it'll convert it for you. But we could easily match the post processors metric for metric, inch for inch. And that completes our spline example. Thank you for watching.